Let's do our weekly plant progress report here at Calcar and Farms. While we do our check-in, I thought I would also give you some information about our climate, just to give you some perspective. We are zone nine. Our days have been in the 50s and 60s, our nights generally in the 40s, some 30s, and we've had early rains this year, but it's been pretty dry since then. And this is what the Saracenia are looking like. You can see the Aleda and the Minor still have some pictures, but they're really dying back. And then look at these Oreophila. They are completely died back. Even the Leucophila are starting to feel that winter weather change. It's those shorter December photo periods and those cooler temps combining to tell them it's time to go dormant. The Venus flytraps are all dying back pretty hard for winter as well. They're really feeling that. And we're going to see even things like Gremlin are starting to go dormant. And over here in the corner is Witchy Baby starting to die back but still has some nice tall summer traps. All of the temperate Drosera are really dying back pretty hard. You can see there's a few leaves still, but again, Dormancy is coming. The greenhouse is such a nice relief from the outside because it's hot and humid in here. And as you can see, we have a lot of happy Nepenthes and Heliopora. The Drosera macrophylla here are flowering, and this is the best part of the tuberous sundews is to come in and see all of these beautiful plants emerging from the soil with all these flowers. Mexican and tropical pings really need to be dried out in the winter because they often switch to a succulent stage of growth where their leaves are smaller and tighter. And one of the questions I get asked a lot is, will they still flower during this time? And the answer is yes. Look, there's a flower on this Morinensisae by Lauiana Calcarn Red, and there will be cheerful flowers all over the pings all winter long. And my last tip for you this week is that Nepenthes or tropical pitcher plants do not have a winter dormancy. Don't dry them out, don't expose them to cold. All right, let me know if you have any questions comment below and let me know more things you want to see. I know you wanted to see the Darlingtonia, but they were all blocked off. So I will do that next week.